then you diner lovers, we are about to swap the bars on the cocaine train. These epic machines here are one and a half inch thick burly bars, 12 inch, straight up. That's it, I've got a bit of a pullback on the top lot. But they're straight. Oh, they are absolute quality. So yeah, burly bars, Australia. Look at them welds, man. That is incredible. These are the dog legs that I put on previously, in a previous vlog. So these are 12 inch, but they've got an inch and a half pullback. So the burly bars will come to there, straight up. So as you can see, they are going to be slightly narrower, which for me is ideal. Do the old Memphis shade off. Nice. Spot I've had bars. <laughs> Protect your paintwork, bro. This is a 2006 diner. So these have got these old connectors. So what we need to do is we've got to pry them out of there. So first things first, take a photo of where the wires which, which number, you see look, one, two, three, which wire goes into which socket. So you're gonna need that for later. Then you're gonna need the Deutsch tool. So these have got, this is flat end on there, and a little hook end on there, which helps with uh, pushing those wires out of the pins. Here's a better look at it, see? That is never gonna fit. Through the hole in your bars, so that's got to come off. So just take a photo of where the wires, what wires go in, which holes. Take your rubber off there, and then we just need to pop that out, and then you can use that tool to push them through. Right, so you can just see inside there, there's a little clip. Bear with me. We'll get this end of the tool and then you can push that out to one side and then they well that one's just done there pull through you then go take cables out for your indicators and then all that is then ready there we go so when i take them controls off i can then pull that through the bars so you just want to pull the sheaves off. Sheaves. Just slowly. There you go. So you've got two screws there. They come out. You've got one on the top. One on the bottom. And then once I've done, done them, I can try and take it off gently without trapping anything or pulling stuff off. Take the cap off. There we go. So hopefully, I'm thinking should just be able to slide this off and pull the wires. If I feed these wires up and pull that slowly so it's not to uh, tear any wiring. Taught. Yeah, just keep feeding it through. There we go. And slowly. Boosh. More tank. Rinse and repeat on the other side. There we go. And that is the fun part, getting that chuffer off. Then it's time. Here we go. Let's have a look. Bruh. Oh yeah, that's gonna be pretty epic. I ain't saying this is the right way of doing it, but I use um, trade spray, just some sort of spray in there, uses a lubricant, slides on, and uh, goes hard and sticks it on. So it's easy to break. 
off. So you put a thin screwdriver in, roll it round, break it, and then I just use two long screwdrivers in, breaks the seal, allows me then, like I say, some sort of trade spray, just paint, paint spray. That's why I use as lubricant and as glue. So that's all that's holding them on and it works lovely. So you just gotta break it with a screwdriver and off you go to get it off. Crispy. Right, quick tip. Your bungs. I've already done these bars before, so get uprated bushes. It's just a good idea. This is the cool bit. So to get your wires through your bar, we use the fishing method. Piece of string with a nut on the end. Drop it in. Get in there. And then just let gravity. You can hear it. Go on, keep feeding. That's gone down one of the holes. Hopefully it's gone down the right one. <laughs> there it is. And then you just gotta feed it. Bosh. So what you'll do there now, when you put your controls on the end, tape that to the end of the wires, and then you'll pull the wires through the bars. All right. Okay, got, got both lines in. <laughs> Brilliant. She's on. Big trucker, still greased up nicely. My God, boom! They look pretty dirty, let's be honest. Oh, straight up. <laughs> they look good. They are inch and a half. Nice and thick. Oof. So there's all my cables. Indicator. What's it, controls? Dump them all together, I just kind of like stagger them slightly. And then uh, wrap this body around it, nice and tight. Better type. Make it as small as possible. There. Right, with that, ready to pull through. For all the dudes, let's do this. Push that in. So there's a bit of push and pull in to go off to get the wires to bend so it's backwards and forwards backwards and forwards until <laughs> well that was easy there they are yeah come on out what was the easiest thing ever skadoosh nice and easy so to test myself I've just taken it all back out strapped a USB cable to it from a quad lock pulled that through and there it is. So I've just got to try and pry that out. And I will have a USB cable in my bars. <laughs> there it is. Yes. Just through. To protect that wrapper off now. And I can pull my USB cable down. I'll have my quad lock all set up. I always find the hardest part is putting the controls back on without trapping the bloody wires. So, the good thing about burly bars is they leave a decent hole for the wires to come in out of. As you can see with my USB cable, it's actually got a bit of a channel. So, as I've done burly bars before, I like to just, uh, as I'm putting the clamps back on, just push the wiring up into the bar itself before I tighten this clamp. That way, fingers crossed, you don't trap the wire and then cause a short. So if you do this, go to start your bike, and you start blowing fuses, first place to check, 
controls. Make sure that you've not trapped any wires. Right, as I mentioned before, this grip. Paint spray. Spray it side, just a little bit. Uses, it acts as a lubricant. So it's slide up the pole. And then when it goes off, holds it on like glue. Nice, nice, nice. Try and go up as far as you can. She said, There we go. Nice. That fits lovely. Boom. Just because one side was easy, don't mean the other one is. However, got it hanging on cable tie. Time to pull it through. Go fishing. <laughs> uh, then you get that, you sleeve. This side's always a pain in the butt. Pain in my butt, anyway. Oh my god. So many bloody cape. I didn't want to lose that, did I? From this angle. She's going in. Come on. I'll go through the bottom. Nice. There we go. It's just through. This side's always a pain in the butt. It's because there's just so much stuff on there. Oh, we're nearly there now. So as before, just make sure, it's hard to do with just one end, make sure those wires are in that hole and not trapped on the clamp. Like that, look, see? So you're not trapping any of them wires. So they're free to move. And then obviously on diners, I do believe the indicator wire goes in the front of the controls rather than on some of the old soft tails, there was always a little notch but unfortunately, there isn't on this, so as over there, look, I have to sneak in through the side. There's obviously my USB cable there. Right, that's the complicated bit on. Let's ignore that. Here's all the wires. That's my indicator. That is obviously the left hand side. So don't forget, you've got to put your sheaths back on, get them on, feed it in there. Put your connectors on the end. Yeah. Should have really left some tape on it, shouldn't I? All right. Go on, Ed. Go on. Might be wise to put a bit of tape on the end, just to make it easier to push through. This has been a bit of a donkey. Yeah, so once you've got that on, push it up inside your bars. Right then, this is where you put your cables back in your connector with the photo <laughs> that you took earlier. So your reference point on your photo is the clip on the top. And then the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. Bosh! Just stick them back in, that easy. They're bloody dirty on all that. So that's number one. Red and yellow is number two. Push it through the back. And push it in. It clicks into place. Done. So all your sheaths are on. Nice. So on this particular build, I'm going to feed them through there. Behind the headlight. Connect them up. See it all works. And then feed the wires back in to the frame. On both sides. Look. So once it's all connected, it's all working. I can push them all back in. Hide the wires. Booty! Oh, Jesus! Last checks. Pumps are on. Oh, indicators. Yes, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah, right. Let's get her outside. Try not to knock the old shredder over. Rockwool! These are, to be fair, some uh, 
aggressive stance. I like that. Proper like that. Nice. And Bosch. There we go. After a booty. Right, I just needs cleaning up, put my quad lock on, stick the Memphis shades on and take it for a ride. One word for you, perfection. <laughs> oh look, you want more? You want, <laughs> okay, okay. Basically, yeah, perfection. <laughs> the, the angle of the bars, straight up, 12 inch, just, you feel like, it's just an Asbo waiting, just, yeah, awesome.